Today is a filming day, which is very exciting, and what that means is that I'm filming multiple videos today. Um, also, it's sort of later in the day, which I apologize for. You might notice the lighting's a little bit funky, but hopefully it will do. I have some hopefully really interesting stuff coming up. The next video is gonna be unboxing some stuff, and then I have another unboxing video coming soon, and then I'm in talks with this company about doing a sponsored video, which I know there's like a stigma behind, because it's sort of like, I guess the logic behind it is that it's like disingenuous, to be paid for a video you're doing but like obviously being sponsored is not going to change my opinions on anything and boxed in the video and like <laughs> you gotta pay off those after effects debts baby what are we doing today well one of my patreons is a very interesting lad their name is Foxel Fox. I've met, I've talked to him briefly about how you pronounce his name, and I'm pretty sure that's correct. But I mean, you know, sorry <laughs> if I can't say it right. They they are they are a bit of an, a coding extraordinaire, and they reached out because they said, "Hey, Avery, I have this script that allows me to mass download comments off videos." And I was like, "Whoa, that sounds pretty sick. This is interesting for the nerds among us because what we can do is." get huge amounts of information based off the way people use words and about the channels where those words are used, okay? In total, the amount of comments that were gathered were half a gigabyte in text files, which means it's a lot of freaking comments. We got most of the furries on YouTube. I know Majira, I think, had like over 100,000 comments, like, which is insane. A little bit of a disclaimer here. There were some channels included that I decided to remove data from. Because, you see, there's some furries on YouTube who have a tendency of like saying and doing really stupid stuff. There, There's always that sort of person <laughs> in the world. Basically, I've removed some of those people in an effort to not normalize what they do, not be affiliated with them in any way. Now, obviously, if you're a YouTuber and you think you should have been included on this list, it probably wasn't because I purposely removed you. Let's see here. The main script I wanted to use is this. What it does is it tells us the percentage of comments on any given channel with a certain word in it, if that makes sense. So for example, for this one right here, if a comment mentions O-W-O -O or U-W-O, -O, an emoji of that nature, on this first page, on this ow ow, Thing. What did we learn? Crash is at the very top with 1.3% of his comments having OWO -O in it. I am down at number 12 at 0 0.51. Above Majira Strawberry and Naru, which I think is quite interesting, although Stormy Bolt is way above me there. I think there's some stuff on here you'll find relatively interesting. It might seem subtle here, and, and that's because it is, but based off of the words used, we can extrapolate the most loved channel or the, the gayest channel. <laughs> Which, here, okay, I, okay, that's the, focus, please. The gayest channel, huh? I thought this would be a little bit of a, a funny thing because what we're looking at here is literally how many times the word gay is in the comments. Oh, my light turned off. Jeez, it looks bad. I am sorry, guys. It's all blown out and weird. Um, I, I thought about this a lot, and I thought this would be a little bit of a funny thing to sort of, you know, poke fun at the people who are like, geez, that's gay. Well, in this case, it actually is. <laughs> Good satirical commentary here. So let's let's go ahead and check it out. Now, most disappointingly, I think I am number 22, which I don't think, don't, I think these measurements are probably pretty inaccurate, but you get the point. Interestingly though, I think if I am correct, oh no, I thought I was above Majira Strawberry, but I am not. Uh, honestly, pretty disappointing. I'm pretty low down there. We have to get that boosted up. At the top, though, we have Fajord, Frost. I forget if that's how you pronounce it. Boltma coming at number five. Mine is just under half of a percent of comments contain the word gay. So, wow. That was... Wasn't that a laugh riot? I am honestly pretty disappointed. And another really important one, which... I think, I don't remember where I listed on here. It's the, the the furriest furry channel, okay? How many times the word furry was said in the comments, okay? By the way, somebody asked in the comments on one of my other videos, why are you recording your computer with a camera? 
and I have no idea. The top is Ace of Hearts, which I actually haven't heard of before, but 14%. That's insane, dude. Let's see here. Majira is at 7.3. Bolt at 9. Rainy at 11%. Sounds like I'm talking about the, the S&P 500 here. Avery Miller is down 4 points. You're listening to NPR. And maybe most surprisingly, Crash is at the very last with a 1.5. Which is really low. I would have thought, I, I don't know. You know what? It could be have to do with language. Maybe it didn't pick up any comments that weren't written in English, but I don't think that's how that works. So I, I'm not really quite sure about that one. And I am very disappointed to be at 30. So that's another thing we need to work on here. Last, but certainly not least, when it comes to the percentages of words used, it's fluffy. The word fluffy. How many times is the word fluffy used? Well, I'm at number nine. Majira is in very last place at the 26th place. Blue down here too? Jeez, you guys need to step up your game, man. I am the number ninth most fl fluffiest channel um, on, on the list of channels we went through. So I, for one, am very proud of that. What we do have is the top 2,000 most used words in all of these furry channels, okay? Not surprisingly, top used word is furry. Isn't really like, oh, okay. That, that seems pretty intuitive here, but I got more stuff to say about it. I have a bit of a fact sheet here. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Okay, this, this, is, this is interesting. Only one out of the top 10 words is negative, if that makes sense. Like, it has a negative connotation to it, which is don't. Now, the, actually, the more I think about it, the more, I mean, I don't think don't necessarily has a negative connotation to it, but I, at least when I was looking at this, don't says, hey, no, stop. Although I suppose it could be like, don't murder people. So the point is though, most of the words on here could be considered like nice words. <laughs> um, cute, LOL, love is number two. For reference here, according to, I think it was a 2006 study of words used inside movie scripts, Love is the 112th most used word in English. Meaning, at least on the group of furry channels we selected, furries say love more. <laughs> I, I mean, you could go farther out on a limb there and say like furries are more loving or something, but I'm not sure if that's very accurate. Although I do think it's quite interesting. Um, good is the ninth top used word. Majira is the 13th, <laughs> which is funny. And, and cute is the 16th. Originally, I got the top 10,000 words and Avery was in it, but it was pretty low on the list. Although, <laughs> there's Gay at number 85. Oh, wait a second. Oh, no way. I take that back. Avery, <laughs> 1450th top used word, right behind Russian, right in front of the word bag, and 13 in front of the word sexuality, which is uh, <laughs> pretty, pretty good if you ask me. What was that noise I just made? Interesting, interesting, no doubt. The top 100 words make up 40% of the total amount of the top 2,000 words, which is complete gibberish. What that means is like the top 100 words are used a lot more frequently than the rest, which makes sense. I think there's a there's things in languages where certain words are used more than like as, as pattern. I don't know. Majira is at number 13, as previously mentioned. Frankie is at number 468 most frequently used. The fact that I'm even in the top 2000 words used, I thought was relatively interesting. And I think I'm gonna link this Google Doc, so if you guys wanna look at it, you can. I think it's relatively interesting to see the most used words in the fandom, essentially. I think this is a pretty good sample size. I still am sort of disappointed at some of my rankings in here. Um, so that's really most of the stuff I wanted to include. This is more of like a joke, like although you can use data to figure out information about audiences and stuff, which could be pretty interesting. This is more of like, more of a jokey thing. I mean, obviously you can't figure out the sexuality of a channel because channels are a channel and don't actually have feelings because they're a computer program. But that one was specifically was more of a satirical one. But I mean, the fluffy one makes me a little bit ashamed. Like the fact that I am only number nine, only number nine. Come on, we can do better than that, okay? 
Um, <laughs> um, hopefully that was somewhat entertaining, and I hope that the lighting situation wasn't as bad as it looks from the camera monitor. Big shout out to Foxel Fox. They wanted me to mention his startup called Catalyst, which is a, it's really interesting. It's this website that's going to allow people to get commissions. Like, you're not going to have to upload reference images because the reference images are going to be, like, embedded in your profile. It's going to be really sick. This guy's super talented in his coding knowledge and stuff, so be sure to check that out. Now, I have some really cool stuff coming up. The one sponsored video isn't really furry related, but I think it will be interesting for some people, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. The next video I'm just about to film involves tails and candy, which you cannot miss, okay? Um, be sure to subscribe. You can find me on Vimeo, Twitter, Patreon, which I'm posting a lot of stuff on my Patreon stream there. I just realized I didn't print out Tristan's thingy yet. Here's my Patreon supporters. Look at this instead. Okay, thank you for watching. And um, <laughs> hopefully this was funny. Goodbye.